another banga. Make a call, make a bong, 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 make a call, make a beat, but the bong, 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 your body, make a call, make a bong, 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 on a man, get it. Ah, kilo fe, on my death, chugga de, ah, ha, fine, fine, oh, bugga de, ah, ha, watch your love for like it, ah, ha, wine, ah, Welcome back to another vlog. So as you guys can tell by the title, thumbnail, all that, today we're doing a travel vlog. We are already out there for I'm here with my girls, Liasia and Lorraine. We're going to Dubai for Michelle's 30th birthday. We're celebrating her 30th birthday in Dubai. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay. You're fine, you're fine. No worries. <laughs> We're right here in Miami. It's 7.30. Our flight leaves at 9.05. We board at 8. Um, we're actually here in the Turkish lounge. This is my first time, well, technically my second time in the lounge. I just got lounge access like a couple months ago with my credit card. So we wanted to see what it was talking about. So we got some margaritas. Food was, you know. Basically, we're gonna go get food now because that just didn't, <laughs> it didn't, it didn't quite. But, but that's okay. We got a drink, the margarita's hitting, so. Anyways, y'all. Shake it, shake it, I'll come over and check up on it. It wasn't too bad. It was supposed to be 11 hours. It was about like maybe 10. I slept through most of my flight. Most of us slept through the flight. But um, one thing I will say, I'm not gonna generalize Turkish people as a whole. Just an observation though, like, I don't know if it's that they're just not used to seeing black people or what, or they just naturally just have a staring problem. But like, y'all, they have no shame staring at you. Like they look dead in your face. Like, you look back at them and they're, y'all are just having a staring contest. You know, every now and then somebody will like smile and it's like, oh, okay, yeah. But for the most part, it's just like, you know? Cause it's one thing if you're admiring somebody, okay, cool. Like your facial expression says it all, your body language says it all. Like the face looks very much like, it's like, what is that, you know? And it's just, it's very annoying actually. It happened on the plane a lot. A lot of the passengers on the plane would stare. Um, and now that we're in the airport, people are also staring and it's weird. But the airport is really nice. I will say that the airport is really, really nice. It's definitely giving lux. It's, some parts of the airport look like hotels. Some parts of the airport look like a really nice mall. But it's really nice, y'all. It's different. sipping on a Malin Blue orange juice because they don't really have many other options for like, you know, us. They have like whiskey and all of that type of stuff. So I did meet, um, there's this guy here in the airport that directed us to get to this lounge. And he was like super friendly. And we were talking, talking, talking. And basically I asked him, <laughs> we were, um, first of all, he thought Jamaica and Haiti was in Africa, but that's besides the point. It's okay. But anyways, since we were being so transparent and we were talking and stuff and I explained to him the whole staring situation and he kind of hesitated and he was just like, oh, you know, you guys are beautiful ladies. So that's why type stuff. And, you know, I explained to him, I'm like, you know, there's a difference between admiring somebody, thinking somebody's pretty and just staring at them, you know, with like a blank stare type stuff. But he was saying that like naturally Turkish people tend to be pretty cold, you know, but once you get to know them, you get, they get comfortable, they open up and you know, it's all smiles and giggles and whatever. So, I don't know, he was really nice though. I will say that. But. To 
by what time is it it's 4 30 we got here like around like a little after one but as, but by the time we went through customs got our bags got an uber to the hotel showered got some food it's not 4 30 and i'm pretty much wide awake to be honest mm -hmm. but starving you're, you're tired mm -hmm. yeah i know <laughs> i'm not really sleepy um but we stopped at this like there's a space this place walking distance from the hotel it's like a I would say like a, give me like a bodega vibe, kind of, sort of. Is that, would that be a good? Not really. No. Yeah, kind of. Kind of like a bodega, I guess you could say. Your menu looked real good. <laughs> Uber driver recommended it to us since it's so late. And they close at four, so. Let's take a, let's take a bite. Not gonna lie. The menu versus like what they actually served us is giving catfish, but let's see what it tastes like. I didn't just do that. It's all right. It's just food, honestly. We just need something in our stomach, but I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. Don't mind me laying my edges, but it is officially our first day in Dubai. It's 12 o'clock, and we're on our way to check into our hotel. So we're staying at the Five Palm Jumaira? Juma ju ju something like that. I'll put the name on the screen. Our goal was to get out of the house by 10 a.m., or at least wake up by 10 a.m. the latest. I'm like, okay, we'll be good. I almost didn't send an alarm, but the agent was just like, yeah, no. Set an alarm for 9.45, 10 a.m. Child, we don't wake up till 11.30. So, <laughs> there's that. But, um, yeah, so we're on our way to the hotel. I'm so excited. Pretty much, we're going to try and see if we can check in early. If not, we're going to have to have the hotel hold our bags because our first excursion requires us to be in the lobby by 2 p.m. So, yeah. <laughs> Our tour also, we'll talk about four topics, which is lifestyle, culture, history, and religion. Please feel free to ask any question, even person. UAE, it's a federation of seven states. Do you know the seven states? Okay, Abu Dhabi. Second thing, what you are drinking now, it's Gahwa, Arabic coffee. Okay. Roaster, light brown, mixed with cardamom and saffron. Without sugar, because usually that's why in UAE the girls, they work less than us, get more than us. Why? She has two jobs at home and outside. Update you guys we weren't able to check in the hotel early but we did we were able to drop our bags off and stuff like that we had a tour at i think i'm telling you guys we had a tour at 2 o'clock 2 30 2 15 we had to be ready for the tour um so we're here now headed to i think the spice souk gold <laughs> spice souk gold souk and i think we're gonna get street food and all that fun stuff so Punjabi samosa. Okay, so this is Indian food. It's like Indian art. I 
This one is sunflower. Oh, wow. To give the yellow color for the food. Used for the skin beauty. When you go to spa, they have a lot of them. We collect in desert, African desert. Pure Viagra. Oh. Wow. Used for the allergic skin, like eczema. <laughs> Change the canal and the blue dead chance. Love that. Almost okay. Yeah, that one. Popular? Mm. Nice popular. Not a fan of this one, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But this one? <laughs> this, y'all, right yeah, here? Yeah, Oh yeah, my well, gosh. Don't, don't Change the game. <laughs> right. So rich. <laughs> which one is this one? Could that's not this one again? So good. So one. good. <laughs> Go ahead, get my ice cream, sis. <laughs> Like damn, she in her mood. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. And you packing out nobody's pants. He a rapper, but don't got a chance. Stuck in my way, so I'm loving my beans. Like a million views in a day. There's so many ways to get paid. I tried dipping, he begged me to stay. Babe, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna run. Big boots in the bus, they pump. of the night dress is, dress is from Shein shoes is from Steve Madden bag is from Shein okay I didn't get any videos on the way out because we were in such a rush this uh, earlier today but like the fit is giving oh come on legs but yeah y'all it's 4 40 a.m when I tell y'all this is Miami time there's literally no way I would be awake right now up did I pass the why do I keep passing the elevator every single time? This was 4.50 Miami time. There's no way I would be a whoop, a whoop. <laughs> There's no reason why I would be awake up and functioning right now. But anyway, yeah, so we went on to Sky 2.0, which is actually a vibe, surprisingly. I was kind of concerned that, you know, Dubai clubs and like the music and stuff would be super like mm -ts, mm -ts, mm -ts, mm -ts, mm -ts type of stuff or like techno, EDM, that type of vibe. but. Michelle was saying that they chose a hip hop night, which is nice. So they played a lot of hip hop. They played a couple dance. I don't want to say dance hall. Maybe like a little. They played. They, they played Ivan music here and there. I mean, it was just an epic experience overall. From the confetti to the music to the dancers they had, it was very much a vibe. Um, definitely recommend if you are in Dubai. I think it's definitely worth experiencing when you have like a large group of people. It was like nine of us in total. Um, I think it's worth it. It's definitely worth the experience. What else? I'm here at the hotel lobby, which is actually gorgeous. I haven't even gotten a chance to give you guys a proper tour. the gold tour which is awesome our tour guide was amazing i'll make sure to link the tour information in the description box of the video but hamza was like super knowledgeable we learned so much about dubai and the culture which is like so important to me so when i travel places like i love to turn up yes i love to experience excursions and all of those things but it's also really important for me to experience you know the culture learn about the culture and today we definitely 
indulge them. Hey y'all, so I abruptly left things off yesterday or last night, um, but it's now 12, about to be one o'clock soon. But the goal was to um, wake up at a good time this morning and go by the pool, chill out by the pool, get pictures, you know, just enjoy the hotel a little bit because we have a pretty jam-packed itinerary and this hotel wasn't cheap. So, you know, we want to get our money's worth. But um, last night, like I said, or like I was showing y'all, we didn't get in until like after 5 a.m. So we didn't wake up till like 10. Ideally, would have liked to wake up by like 9-ish, you know, so I can really take my time, get some content. Speaking of trying to get content, yo, they are really out here tripping about me and my camera. I have the Canon EOS R with me, and this is the second time somebody has told me that I need to get a permit from the hotel to take pictures here. Something about they have their own photographer, so I guess I would have to book a photographer, but like, why would I do that when I have my own camera? But um, yesterday, last night was a vibe. I've never been to a club like that. I mean, I don't club much anyway. And it was just lit, super lit. I played a lot of like, I would say like pop, pop, hip hop. A sprinkle of Afro beats. But like, you know, they played Turn Me On by Kevin Little, maybe some Sean Paul. So I wasn't, I wasn't mad. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't mad at all. The only thing we were able to do this morning, by the time everybody got ready, got downstairs, we were like, we gotta eat something first. Which by the way was trash, garbage, garbage. Like, hash brown sausage. Mid, no, I'm not even mid. Not even mid. It was just trash. It was a horrible plate of food. I struggled to finish it, and that's not like me at all. <laughs> My food came, paid for our food, and that's so now time to go back upstairs, get ready for the um, safari tour, which I'm super excited about. So today we're going to be doing UTV, sandboarding, camel riding, this barbecue. Um, what else? What else? And dune bashing hey brian never been to the desert so i'm super excited about it i didn't even show you guys so this is the view it was so dark last night i didn't get a chance to show you guys the view from my room so i'm not gonna lie i yesterday i was like kind of i mean the room is nice it's beautiful but this is kind of blowing me like why you know we booked this a lux a sea view room i was kind of bummed that this is like right in front of it blocking the blocking us but regardless the view is beautiful this hotel is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and then this is the balcony. Yeah, so we went and purchased this yesterday at the market, not realizing they have it here, literally. They have so many, a wide selection of different colors. with caution because I never really thought I had motion sickness I mean kind of had signs of it here and there like in more recent times I find that I can't really go on swings and stuff like that but that I barely made it through that I feel weak I don't want to throw up but I don't really have anything on my stomach to throw up Oh, 
somebody's getting paid Free big slime out the cage and Shorty tried to play it cool But now she wish she would've stayed Cause every song that I made Is ringing like I got engaged I Love my guys, I wouldn't trade From the cradle to the grave hey, Gordo got me on a wave hey, hey, Your body drive me crazy. Your body need a license fit. Your body are too tight and neat. Anybody who got eyes can see. So update. We just finished riding the camels, which honestly I feel really bad about. Now we're at the barbecue. About to grab me some appetizers. I'm really loving it. I'm still suffering from the motion sickness. I'm not gonna lie. Literally just walking on the sand makes my stomach queasy. But yeah, y'all, it's been a super eventful day. I barely have anything in my stomach. The breakfast that we had earlier today wasn't really breakfast for real. And that's all I've eaten. And it's now like 6, 7 p.m. So I'm a little weak, I'm not gonna lie. Hoping the ride back isn't too rough for me. Because right now my stomach is very, very sensitive. But y'all actually like almost cried. <laughs> no, not a lot, not almost. I actually did shed a few tears. Because we had to drive back, do the dune bashing on the ride back. You know when your mouth starts salivating? Cause you're about to throw up that was me but if i if i had put in my system i'm 100 percent positive that i would have thrown it up so i guess it worked out but yeah if you have motion sickness definitely recommend bringing some dramamine some type of motion sickness medicine to get you through that ride because it's not for the week and i think it didn't help that we were in the back of the van she just wanna dance and she just wanna dance and tease me she just wanna dance and tease me She just wanna dance and tease me you be missing It's 2016 Squid tell me one fix You know that's my sister When she speak I listen She swears your mind missing I say we think different I, 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 I see my Twist and turn, twist and turn, yeah. Baby, come me, I too fly, I get burned. Love the way you twist and turn, twist and turn, yeah. Everybody driving crazy, everybody in their license feet. I'm so freaking Tired. But today we are going to the mosque. We're actually at the mosque Sheikh Zayed. Zayed. I don't know if I'm butchering the name, but we're here at the mosque. Um, I had no idea this was like a whole. There's like a whole mall in here. They got Cinnabon, an arcade, a whole bunch of different subway, Papa John's. They got everything here. We're about to check out the um, the actual like mosque mosque. But we're being at one of the shops because the Asian never got a a, a bia a raya. Is that what it's called? Are these called Arayas? Abaya. Abaya. There we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Abaya. So she. Huh? That's cute. I like that. Yeah, I do. So the agent's trying to find Abaya. <laughs> That's cute. I really like that color on you. I think just find a head wrap right now, right? A scarf. I think it's in here. Oh, really? Is a scarf in here? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So I have mine already. I can't wait to show y'all. It's one of five. 105 US dollars? Yeah. Um, is that like solid price? You guys don't negotiate? Make it 100? You can't do 80? See if you like. Okay. Also, another thing, y'all, we have been negotiating. Negotiating our. I'm not even gonna curse, but yeah, we've been hella negotiating everywhere. You have to try and negotiate. At the, um, when we were at the, what was it? Texture, textile market or something like that, bruh. Our tour guide told us to negotiate 80% down 
Huh? I already have. I have. Thank you. <laughs> yes, this is what I'm wearing right now. Yeah, how cute is this? Literally so cute. <laughs> so it's only five of us today. It's like, whoa. How many of us on the trip? 14. It's like 14 of us on the trip. Only five of us made it to the mosque this morning. Cause everybody, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's an hour drive. So I get it, we had to be ready by eight. But there's no way I was coming all the way to Dubai and not coming to a mosque. That just wasn't happening. actually
Y'all, if you come to Dubai, you absolutely have to come to the Soul Brunch. That shit was a vibe. It was a vibe. Oh my gosh. Like, I feel like I don't even experience a vibe like that in Miami. So, yeah. The club. Is it somewhere to sit? That's what I need to know. I need. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I need to sit somewhere. I can't. My feet hurt. I've been wearing. I'm the only one in heels today. Literally the only one. We just got back to the hotel. Oh no! Please don't tell me it's stairs. Oh Lord, jam, slow down, girl. <laughs> My feet hurt. Are you loving Dubai? Oh man, Tay was a lit, like so freaking lit. No, the party nah, just went nah, nah, nah. That was unmatched. Unmatched. No, for real, for real. Good morning, y'all. So this is technically our, is like our last official day here. But I tell you, I am so tired. It's finally catching up on me. We've been on go since literally the day we've arrived. Like the only regrets I have right now is the fact that we didn't stay here longer. Jubilee, we have not been on the beach. Our hotel is on the beach. The hotel has a really nice pool. Here's one of the main pools that the hotel has. And I haven't even gotten a chance to like, chance to explore or like go in the pool or anything like that because we've just been on go but yesterday was lit a vibe i think i already said it yesterday but like if you're in dubai soul brunch like 10 out of 10 you have to do it like you have to there's no way you can come to dubai and not do that so that has been like one of the highlights so far as far as like party life goes and i'm such a day party brunch kind of girl because the fact that i was in my bed by like 11 30 was in bed like 11 30 right like I just love that for me, but I'm still extremely tired. But um, the Asian and I decided that we're gonna go ahead and hit the mall this morning because yeah, there, there were so many things in our itinerary or like so many potential things to do that we just haven't gotten a chance to do. And then we have the boat day later. And we wanted to do the Miracle Garden, Burj Khalifa. Just not enough time. Like four days is not enough. Four or five days is not enough time to spend in Dubai. You have to at least stay for a week. Anyways, y'all, we're about to hit the mall.
No more liquor for the next bite. What? I'm going to room 20. Zero, two, zero, six, four, four. <laughs> you were good to us. I miss this view, y'all. y'all so it's five months later i know i know i know well i'm finally getting around to uploading this video but there are a few things that i never got around to mentioning in the vlog um about some of my experiences so one make sure you guys bring compression socks for that flight 11 hours and then what was it four hours or three hours so i didn't have any issues going to dubai but on my way back as y'all saw my feet toes everything was swollen so definitely bring compression socks second thing i was gonna say was i'm gonna try my best to link most of the um tours and excursions and stuff in the description box for the ones that I actually recommend. So I don't recommend the company that we booked for the Desert Safari, Safari Tour. My specific tour guide, I really wasn't a fan of him. I feel like he was rushing us. He was really impatient and kind of, not kind of, he was definitely rude. Two, I was expecting the ATVs to be actually be out in the desert, like in like dunes, you get me? Not in like a gated area. I hate doing ATVs in a gated area because it just takes away the adventure and fun because I'm really just like riding around in a park in an ATV. That's what it's giving. Oh, also on the camel ride, I feel like was so pointless. Like literally was on the camel for like maybe less than five minutes. Like we literally went from like one end and back. That's literally it. But honestly, it was a waste of time. I don't know what other companies are, like how other companies are doing it. What else was I going to say? Oh, also the hotel. So the hotel was gorgeous, beautiful. Honestly, I wish I got more footage of the hotel. But I'm only gonna speak on my room. So in my shower, I noticed that there was like, in some crevices, like black, I wanna say maybe it's mold, but I hate, ugh, I hate to see mold or any like colors that's not supposed to be in my shower. I hate to see it. It just makes my skin crawl and itch. And for the price that we're paying for like a luxe hotel, I just feel like that's that's not, that should never be the case. The food, the food was okay, the food was all right. Um, But for the price that you're paying, I don't know, I was expecting a little more. I didn't do much planning for this trip but i feel like you could probably for the same price you could probably find a better hotel or equally as nice so yeah anyways i hope y'all enjoyed this vlog that i'm finally uploading like a year later but um yeah if you guys enjoyed it go ahead and let me know in the comments thank you guys so much for tuning in i will see y'all in my next video